Hey guys, Wes Oak here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the brand new Mandalorian trailer, have a watch of it, and then we're going to go through things I picked out at the end, what I think is important, and what looks really good, and what I'm excited to see. Hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, consider like and subscribe. Hunting is a complicated profession. Don't you agree? When this first image, right at the beginning of the trailer, it's set in the scene. It's after the uh, Return of the Jedi movie, Episode Six, and the dead stormtrooper helmets everywhere. Uh, is this uh, a scene of a battle? The villagers gathered around, or are the scavengers similar to what Ray was doing at the beginning of Force Awakens? Well, only no, get to see it. Uh, at the end of this shot, a guy just walked past, uh, presumably a Mandalorian character, uh, and then the trailer moves on. Here, in this image, we see a new planet, a desert planet. Uh, seems to be a theme here with Star Wars. So, what have we got now? We've got Geonosis, Tatooine, Jakku, and now whatever this planet is. Uh, it could well turn out to be one of those planets that we've seen before, uh, especially Tatooine, as there's a big bounty hunter scene around uh, Tatooine as it's controlled by the huts and gangsters and that. Uh, but again, time will tell, and you do see the ship flying across the screen, uh, and again, presumably the Mandalorian. In this image, uh, not necessarily the same planet as we saw in the last image, uh, you see a town here where the Mandalorian's walking in, he does enter a bar and starts a dialogue with a guy and he's asking for a job uh, and then he's like choosing his contract what he's going to take. The ship on the left is our Mandalorian ship and then the ship on the right, uh, unknown, possibly the guy he's getting the job off or possibly a contact that he's meeting. Uh, hopefully we'll get a good look at all these ships, uh, new as well as possibly some uh, throwbacks to all the ones uh, when the show comes out. But yeah. Glad to see these new locations. This this location is incredibly detailed, so you can tell that there's a good production value on this show. So that that makes me very hype uh, that they spent a lot of money on it. Then for the Mandalorian character himself, in this one, he's in some kind of like bar shootout, and he's shooting this guy. And you, we do get a good look at him here uh, with his armor and how the torso is a bit red. Uh, I love the helmet. Helmet's awesome as expected, uh, and overall he just looks pretty good there. And then again, we get another good shot of him here with his shoulder pads on there as well in red and a big cannon of which he's blasting enemies. Uh, one thing that I like about this is they're not keeping it to just pistols and the occasional assault rifle, kind of like combat. Uh, again, they've made it big, large scale, big cannon, uh, and we're going to get plenty of action here. And it's like, and then here, possibly in the same fight, possibly in a different fight. Uh, we've got the uh, assassin droid IG-88, uh, which is a great tie-in. Uh, if you remember in Empire Strikes Back, where all the bounty hunters, Boss, Boba, and IG are all there, and they're tracked with uh, down uh, the Millennium Falcon and Solo. Uh, he was one of the ones that was there. So it's a great tie-in to tie this uh, series into the Star Wars lore and Star Wars universe, and there. Uh, can't wait to see whether he's a, he's a foe for our Mandalorian or whether they're working together on a job. And here, again, you've got the Mandalorian in the foreground. And then, again, you've got a bloke riding a thing. <laughs> uh, a 
again? Is, is the Mandalorian getting a crew together to do some big job? Or is this just somebody that is uh, coming across and there is a creature to the left? Unknown whether it's been killed or asleep. Possibly asleep and they might be riding one each. Uh, but again, I'm interested to find out who this character is on top of this beast there. And uh, what role he has to play. Possibly a prelude to the fight that takes place where you saw IG and the cannon. Uh, but you've got some dark troopers here. They are led by an individual uh, that doesn't have a helmet on. So I imagine he's going to be some kind of uh, protagonist in the uh, in the TV show. And I imagine he's going to last more than one episode if, if they've bothered to the face. Otherwise, he's going to be a helmet sergeant. But yeah, interested to see what these guys' role is going to be, especially when at the beginning you saw like all the dead stormtrooper helmets and it was like the Empire was crumbling and then towards the end of the trail you see this and it's like they're still in strength. Uh, is this part of the transition to the, the First Order or is it just the remnants of the Empire? But we get to see that down the road. And then the final image that I picked out here was some floor sap uh, that's been frozen carbonite. Just like what happened to Han Solo uh, before he got rescued when he went to Jabba the Hutt. Uh, so again, this is a great throwback. Uh, tie it in with that using the same technology then, uh, and also it it just makes it more real about the bounties that he's catching. That he's actually having to take them back in a similar way to how Boba did. Uh, you no, know, pretty good. Uh, that's all from the images that I picked out there and the best bits. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm super looking forward to the Mandalorian myself. Uh, and we'll be keeping you up to date on the news from the show. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing to see more. Wookie out.